captchas. We all get them and we all hate them. Sometimes we spend hours trying to solve these captchas that Google security loves implementing and we can never solve them. It says click the bicycle, I click the bicycle, but the more bicycles come up. And as a programmer, this is one of the biggest problems if you're creating any service that goes on the internet and surfs websites because if a website uses Google, then it's gonna block us. And as programmers, we just can't have that. So today, I thought of an idea. Let's find a way to somehow still surf these websites and even if we get captures, we can solve them right away without having to do any manual work. Now, it's Google we're up against, so this may be kind of impossible. You must believe. But where there's a will, there's a way, even with Google. So in other words, if you guys can see right here, we have this capture, right? If we click it, then we have to fill out all these squares, and hopefully our program will solve this entire capture on its own without us having to do anything and continue to whatever site we're trying to go to. So the first major part of this whole design process is the research part. We have to find ways to actually solve captures. Now, based on prior knowledge, I know we can maybe go the AI route or we can use a two capture service, but there's a lot of things that are gonna go into it. So let's just do some research and let's find out the best possible way. All right, so this isn't as easy as I thought it may be, but we're gonna keep going and keep researching. Whoa, 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 looks like we found the holy grail of how to do this. So I did a lot of research and it seems like I understand the general idea. I'm gonna try to map it out for you guys so you guys can also understand. And if you don't understand, then um, just bear with me. All right, so I created a little diagram to really map out exactly what the process is to my understanding. So basically this is us, okay? This is us. We're gonna go to a website that uses Google security. In this case, Walmart. So we're gonna go to Walmart and we're gonna get this caption. The caption's gonna be like, hey, verify you're not a robot, whatever, whatever, whatever. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send that captcha to a captcha solving service. In our case, we're gonna use two captcha. So as a captcha service solves a captcha, it's gonna give us a token. All right, so what happens is this capture that we're doing, when we solve it manually, we click the pictures, when we're done clicking the pictures and it says, you know, check mark, good job, you're actually given a token in the back end, and that token will be given to us by the capture solving service. So we're gonna call the callback function, uh, we're gonna pass the token into that function. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna let us continue to the actual site itself, and at that point we would have solved the capture. So I know this may sound a little confusing, but basically guys, to sum it up, we need a token and we're gonna get that token and we're gonna pass it in a function and by passing into the function that function will allow us to continue to whatever site we're going to and the capture will be solved so let's get that token all right so first things first we need to find the exact callback function of walmart because every site that uses google security has its own callback so all we got to do is open on developer tools click the captcha and uh search up site key Okay, there you go. Handle capture is the name of the function you have to call. And we need a side key because the solving service that we're going to use to capture needs that side key so it's able to tell, hey, we're solving a capture, but from what site? So we're going to send that side key to the capture solving service, and then we're going to get the token, and we're going to call handle capture with the token passed in, and then we will solve the capture that way. Ha! Huh. Look guys, it's a recapture on two captures account. Imagine if we solved this capture using two capture. That would be kind of funny. So we figured out the callback, we funded our account, and now we can move on to the actual code. And this is goes to show that programming isn't just code, guys. Most of it is research. Over here we create our browser that will go to the part of Walmart that asks for verification. And now we're actually going to create the function that solves the capture. So this line right here, guys, this is what solves the capture. And we're going to get the token by just setting the response to this um, variable to a token variable. So at this point, I think we wrote all the code that is needed to solve the capture. And I'll give you guys a heads up. This will probably not work just because there's no way it's this easy, you know, no there's no way. 
Uh, so you see right here, our capture has been sent to capture. Now they are solving our capture as we speak. And now we just gotta wait to get that token back so we can submit it to handle capture. So we got the token. And a capture has been executed. Oh, so we did get an error for a quick second. And I don't know if you guys saw the loading symbol right here, but it did load, meaning the method was executed, but Google said, sorry, you are still not legit. We still don't believe that you're a real person. So basically Google security destroyed us, but I think there's still a way to get past this capture. Now, real quick to explain the code, I called the recapture solve method, which basically solved the capture as I said before. I get the token and then I call the method handle capture and submit the token within it. And theoretically, we should have been able to go to the next page, the actual website, but it did not work. So let me rewind this exact recording to see that quick error message that popped up for a quick second so I can see exactly what went wrong. All right, guys, so I rewinded the tape and I saw the message and apparently the error was that somehow Google security is checking all the variables when the page loads. And it's saying, hey, this token variable that you just created was never a variable from the beginning. So what this means is that we somehow have to inject a variable right when the document loads before anything else happens. So Google is like, hey, this variable was here from the start, which means it's legit. And that is the key to being Google security. So to sum up exactly what I did, I created a script that's going to run exactly when I go to the website. And when that page is loading, the script will run and what it's going to do is going to set this variable to nothing really. But when I, when I get the handle capture, when I get the token, what I'm going to do is set this to the token. And this function is continuously firing. So by the time this is set to the token, this function will be called and it's going to say, hey, window.zt actually does exist. And then it's going to call the callback method. And this way, Google will not say, hey, this variable was not here from the start. In fact, it was, it was just undefined. Now, hopefully this will work, and we're going to test it out, and if we get this, then that means we just beat Google security. So we just sent our capture to capture, and now we're waiting on the token, we're going to call handle capture, and if it works, since we defined that variable right in the beginning, then that means, guys, we just beat Google. So, alright, they got the token, they called handle capture, and we passed it, let's go! God, we just beat Google! We just beat Google, guys. We just beat Google's capture service. Bro, that's insane. I didn't think it was gonna work. I was just gonna like code and see if it, you know, just try something. Just at the end, just be like, guys, I tried my best, I'm sorry. I am sorry. But it worked, like, we did it. Google, hire me. I don't give an interview, I just, I just beat your capture service. I hope you guys are excited as I am and I want you guys to like the video right now. I just beat Google security guys. There's no way you cannot like the video and you cannot subscribe, like do it right now. If you guys want more videos like it, just comment down below RV beat Google and I'll do it gladly. And I want you guys to join this journey, so please subscribe right now. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out dude, peace out dude, peace. Google got nothing on us.